Well, hello everyone and welcome to Momentum channel. My name is Mo and in this video, as part of our video series, a reviewing and growing a portfolio of cryptocurrency account from a mere $500 all the way to $10,000, we are going to provide an update where things are at. As you know, the past couple of weeks have been really brutal uh, for uh, the cryptocurrency investments. Uh, we've actually lost a lot of our gains that we've built over the span of the past couple of months. And we're going to provide an update to you, walk you through exactly how we're handling these kind of setbacks. Uh, are we selling? Are we buying? Or how uh, and what strategy we're uh, kind of pursuing at this time in the market when it comes to cryptocurrency investments? All right, as you notice here for our account, first with Well Simple Crypto account, we are showing a total of $566 roughly in terms of our overall account value. Uh, the one hour return is showing a positive 1%. The 24 hour return for this account is showing a positive 15%. So we've definitely kind of recovered a little bit of our major losses that we had. The one week return though is as well showing 21%, but look no further and take a look at the one month return. The one month return is now showing a negative 12%. Our three months return is showing a negative 7% return. And our one year return is showing negative 2%. This might not sound as bad, but keep in mind, about a, a month ago or so when we had our last cryptocurrency update, we were showing a one-year return of positive 22%. So from there all the way to negative 2%, it's a huge loss compared to that time. So definitely uh, it is something for us to be mindful of. Now, what actions we've taken? We've definitely not sold any. The intention here is not to sell or panic. With cryptocurrency, we are trying, trying to follow a similar uh, kind of cool and calm approach of taking advantage of the lower prices as the stock, uh, the prices of cryptocurrencies decline, we try to add to our position and we try to grow our positions slowly over time. Uh, here within Well Simple Crypto, we have two holdings. One is our Bitcoin holdings. You'd see the last trading price for Bitcoin is showing to be around $47,000 Canadian. And here we own a total of $318 worth of Bitcoin. It is showing an overall return of negative 19%. Um, at one point, this was even a lot worse, but we've gradually added more and bought more of Bitcoin and managed to bring this a little bit um, down and make it a little bit uh, better story. As for Ethereum, we even hovered to a negative um, territory. At one point, we were quite high. I believe we were close to 30 or 40% positive now we hover to a negative territory and ultimately now we've recovered now we are at a positive six percent i would definitely continue to add to both of my bitcoin and ethereum perhaps a little more emphasis on bitcoin because we are sitting at a much larger negative uh, return here and i you can see i've added some funds to my account currently i'm having 25 dollars so why don't we go ahead and buy some shares of bitcoin here uh, in this case we are going to uh, actually go ahead and buy Bitcoin. I'm going to click on Bitcoin and continue to add perhaps another $5 of Bitcoin and proceed to buy it. I'm going to place the order and it's going to be processed almost instantaneously as we see here. Now, if you go back to our account, uh, what we're going to notice is that the overall amount that we have invested in Bitcoin has gone up. The all-time return is still hovering around negative 19%, and we are left with 20 more dollars for further investments or buying our cryptocurrencies here. I want to also take a close look at the activities within this account and see what uh, purchases we've had. As I mentioned, we've bought uh, some more cryptocurrencies and take a close look there. All right, so if you look here closely at our recent uh, purchases or any activities on our cryptocurrencies, you notice that the last purchase we had just now was $5 of Bitcoin. Also earlier today, we bought $10 worth of Ethereum. You can see at what price that was fulfilled. We bought another $10 of Bitcoin and the price is fulfilled for it. We also bought another $5 of Bitcoin. We deposited $50 to our account today. And earlier on, um, we also bought another $10 worth of Ethereum, $5 worth of Ethereum, $10 worth of Ethereum, uh, five more dollars here. And as you can see here, we continue to deposit some more funds, especially during um, the time that the cryptocurrency market was doing a little bit poor. We try to add more funds and continue to kind of take advantage of dollar cost averaging, similar approach that we've been taking to our uh, 
uh, stock market um, portfolio and the challenge that we have there. Now, I'm going to hover over to our uh, Coin Square account. At one point, the last time that we provided this update, we had overall balance of this account sitting at around $612. Right now, it is close to half, a little bit more than half, but it's sitting under $400. So definitely you see how drastically this account has declined in terms of its value, mostly due to the decline in the Bitcoin. Our Dogecoin, um, the one Dogecoin, uh, one dollar worth of Dogecoin that we had has pretty much stayed stagnant. You see it's hovering around one dollars, but our Bitcoin, oh man, oh man, it has kind of took a strong uh, major hit here. Bitcoin was hovering at one point closer to um, 60 or even beyond uh, $1,000 in terms of Canadian $1,000. Uh, but right now it's hovering, as we saw, closer to $47,000. So that's a major bull. And as a result, definitely the value of this portfolio has declined. They haven't added any new funds to this portfolio. Hence, um, without any available funds, we haven't been able to actually buy any more of Bitcoins. There is definitely a consideration for me to continue to add a little more funds to this CoinSquare account and really take advantage of the lower valuation for Bitcoin. Uh, since I'm looking at it for a longer term uh, horizon and really we wanted to get to that $10,000 worth of investments in, in cryptocurrencies that we have over a longer period of time. Uh, we're look, talking about the next seven to eight years. So that's something that we think we can get there by taking advantage of these market, market declines. Let me know um, how you are approaching the recent vol volatility in the cryptocurrency market. What cryptocurrencies in particular are you invested in and which ones are you uh, buying more at this time? Are you perhaps even selling any of your cryptocurrencies? I would love to hear from you. So be sure uh, to let us know in the comment section down below and let us know what you think. As you know, cryptocurrency investment is a very small portion of my overall portfolio. I definitely am very well aware of the risks involved with that, how volatile it is, as we definitely observed it most recently. As a result of that, it's not a major part of my investments, but rather a, a small portion, more so around uh, having some additional diversification, and also having some exposure to uh, different uh, kind of investment uh, platform or option, in this case, cryptocurrency, even if it might be uh, too speculative. I believe that the small size of my portfolio kind of justified that. I hope you found this video beneficial and you gained something of value from it and hopefully inspired you to kind of consider uh, the pros and cons of investing in cryptocurrencies and perhaps even reflecting on that. Um, if you did, don't forget to subscribe to Momentum channel and of course hit the like button. It really helps us a lot in growing the channel and attracting more like-minded individuals who are interested in investing, whether it's in the stock market, cryptocurrencies, real estate, or other forms of investment, as well as learning more about finances and uh, financial freedom. Thank you and we hope to see you next time.